Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. Today I am trying to move my Campanota subarbatus from this really nasty, dirty water test tube to this test tube over here, which is brand new, fresh, and clean. They're still having a little trouble deciding that they want to explore it because of the new smells, but eventually they will. But anyways, I wasn't so sure that this colony was doing so good until I started to disrupt them and I noticed at the bottom of this test tube of course you can't see it now, they're eggs this queen has been busy laying eggs on top of that there is a nice chunky larva back there too look at that and there's actually quite a few eggs in this nest you see that worker has a couple and there's several on the ground there too. I haven't noticed any pupa, but the way it seems, there could be some. Look at all of those eggs. There's way more than I would have thought. And I actually didn't think there were any. Because I would always see the queen leaving the nest. The queen would be in the sugar water test tube. Or in the outworld, foraging. Very odd. But, yeah, they seem to be doing quite well, actually. I'm very happy to see that. You can see all three of these queen elates are still living and going strong. I doubt that they lay eggs, but, I mean, their gasters almost seem more full than the, the actual queen's gaster. Speaking of which, I don't even know where the actual queen is at right now. Honestly, it could be this one at the top. No, I can see wings on her. It's definitely not this middle one or the bottom one, as those both have wings. Yeah. See, there's a male. There's several males in this colony as well. Look over here, there's a couple of males. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so sure where the legitimate queen is at right now. One thing I've noticed about these ants is that they love their sugar water. Right now I have their sugar water disconnected. That is where this used to be their sugar water tube here. But I disconnected that to add a new water test tube for their new nest. And then once they're moved out of here, I'll put the sugar water test tube into there. Look, there's even an egg up there, being held by that worker. Man, it's so nice to see that this colony is actually doing well. This is my other colony of Campanota subarbatus. They are still not doing so well. Um, they're still taking care of, like, old pupa casings. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a bunch of old pupa casings down here, and they're taking care of that like it's brood. Now, they might have some eggs buried up in there. It's hard for me to tell. There is something buried up in there. But even if it is eggs, they look super yellow in color. And they don't seem to be fertilized. They also have what appears to be some more of that pupa casing down here. I don't understand why they're taking care of it like it's brood. It's very odd to me. Alright, back to the colony that's doing pretty good. You can see they actually have a pretty decent amount of majors, as well as regular workers. It's pretty cool. It's like 50-50 almost. At least it seems that way. Well, looking here, you can see a couple workers doing trophallaxis. All of the workers' gasters are full of sugar water. They do eat protein, but not a lot. I only feed them every now and then, because they don't always eat it. But man, look at all of that brood. There are so many eggs down there. That larva is pretty big, too. I wonder if it'll pupate soon. That one's pretty big as well. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave them be for now. I'll leave their test tube cover off on this side, and hopefully soon they'll decide that they would rather be in the dark, fresh test tube. So, I'll catch up with you guys when they finally decide that it's time to move. It seems like they're about halfway through their move now. Much fewer workers are left in here. And you can get a better view of the brood pile now. There's three, maybe four, large larvae, and quite a lot of eggs. I would say maybe 20, 20 eggs or so. I'm not seeing the queen in here, so she must be in there out by now, as well as the elate. Actually, I see an elate up here. It'll be really nice for them to be moved out because this water is nasty. And all kinds of gross stuff on the cotton ball there. So yeah, about halfway through the move. And I'd imagine shortly that they'll be completely moved out. You can see some trophallaxis right there. Several hours later, the move is complete. I've got them all out of this nasty nest and the sugar water connected. And they're all in here. I feel kind of bad about this because they all just got their new home and in the dark. Now I'm going to open it, but wow. They're really packed in there tight in that one area, but you can see the queen right there in her glory. All the workers and the brood is somewhere on the bottom there. But anyways, I'm going to keep them in their darkness. They deserve to stay in the dark. After all that stress, and I'm sure by morning there will be workers in the sugar water test tube. Right now they're kind of like coming right to the front of it and being like, yo, where the heck is our nest? We were just in there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Thanks, bye.